I want to say happy Sunday to everyone. I hope you guys enjoy the remainder of your day. This will be a general message. We're going to see what it is that Spirit would like for each and every one of us. I'm going to say the majority <laughs> to know at this time. Oh, that came out rather quick. Okay. <laughs> surrender to setting limits and surrender to silence. With surrender to setting limits, it is healthy to set boundaries in relationships. Practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence. So we're being told to set limits with certain people in our lives, whether it's a relationship, whether uh, with a, a, a lover or family members, relationships with friends, co-workers. It's important to set boundaries, healthy boundaries. Maybe there are people around that are asking too much, wanting too much, taking too much, not giving enough equally. Maybe it's time to set boundaries and tell them no. And now people don't like to hear no, and that's their personal business. When something is becoming an inconvenience for you, then that's when you know it's time for you to set some boundaries when it comes to it because it's not serving you. It's not making you happy. It's not. Maybe someone is um, maybe someone is wanting too much from you but they're not giving you enough. Okay? You got to set some limits on how much you're giving into it. Now with surrender to silence you have in quiet meditation or contemplation, let go and enter the stillness within. Silence can heal and replenish you. So it may be time to just get off to yourself and just breathe and enjoy the quietness of not having anyone saying anything to you, having <laughs> nothing to think about other than yourself and to deal with your own emotions and to deal with you. And maybe that's where the boundaries is coming in. Maybe someone's overstepping, you know, your personal space. And it's causing you to feel like you don't have any time to yourself. Maybe instead of them staying until 10, you cut it to 8 o'clock. Hey, I got to go to bed early or something like that for someone. All right, let's take a look and see what other message. You have have faith, okay? What a, what a message for Sunday, right? Have faith. Trust the process is what I'm hearing. That whatever is being delayed or held up, or there could be a situation that you're just uncertain about, have faith that everything is going to come together for you the way it needs to. It may not even come together the way you would like. Because sometimes what we what we need, we don't see it. We just see what we want. But Spirit knows exactly what we need. So have faith in whatever situation where there's uncertainty, okay? You have to adore the Spirit, okay? So there's, there is um, Spirit coming to intervene, coming to... Your rescue. What do we have here? For some of you, you're dealing with anxiety. Okay, the angel of balance is here to restore something into your life, especially for those of you who are facing indecision at this time. You may be uncertain about something. I'm getting, I'm getting that a, a lot right here with have faith and indecision. Someone's not sure about what to do, what direction to take about a choice. Someone's not sure about the outcome of something and it's giving you anxiety. You need to trust in your higher power. Trust that the angel of balance is here to bring some things into place, into, into balance. Okay, hostilities. There's a situation that is a little bit... um toxic turvy right now someone's dealing with 
Okay, what's this? The magician in the mirror. This is giving me lack of confidence is what I'm feeling. Someone's not confident in either their choice, their decision. Someone's not confident in whether something is going to work out in their favor. Patience. You're being asked to have patience. Okay. And this is why so it's important that someone surrender to silence. Because I feel like there's something that's going on that has someone a bit toxic turvy and feeling a little un uneasy, not feeling too confident that things are going to work out. And it's time to get off to yourself. It's time to, to get off to yourself so you can hear your higher self speak. You have contract down here, but then there's these balancing scales. Okay, so this could involve an agreement, a contract, legalities. Be patient. You're, you're being asked to be patient. Let, the, let spirit work this out for you, okay? But this is involving some legal issues. There's some favorable outcome with blossoming abundance. Okay? What else here, spirit? The world and a man holding a coin. There's a cycle that's closing out for some for some of you. Okay. You've successfully completed something. This could be a test, a lesson. Oh, Angel of Love is coming out as well. Um, there's something that you are, are successfully completing. You may have mastered something. You may have gone through a series of tests. It looks like that. Oh, the sun card. That is wrapping up in your life. Some of you with the man holding the coin. This could involve your finances, your stability, okay? It looks like something you're about to receive a positive outcome regarding um, a cycle that you've closed out. For some of you, you could be finishing school, retiring. You could be leaving a job and finding a success in something else. You also have the angel of love, of love out here with the sun card. I feel like you're finding happiness. Either within yourself, but this could be self-love. The angels are teaching you how to love yourself. Or some of you are about to experience a very happy connection here with someone. Okay, this appreciation is giving me the nine of pentacles. Here's someone who's self-sufficient. You could be about to meet a king of pentacles with the man holding the coin. It brings you two together for happiness. Yep, there's door to spirit again. Spirit is all over a connection coming together and all oh yep a man holding a heart and all over a um could be a legal situation that's taking place for someone your spirit your spirit team is working to make something happen oh yeah what else here mm-hmm Storm warning, warning and thinking, man. So there is something here. This storm warning is is, is like the um, a tower card or something happening unexpected. And something may have happened unexpected and it has someone really having to think logically about the decision that they make. And you're being told to, at this time, to just be silent. Maybe this isn't the time to talk about it to other people. Maybe surrendering to setting limits is you limiting the amount of information that you give to someone. I don't know who this message is for, um, but it's going to reach whoever needs to hear this. So um, setting limits for someone is not talking about what's going on with certain people. Letting spirit work this out. Having faith that the outcome is going to be the best for you and all parties involved. Something could have happened unexpected with the storm warning, but don't uh, don't overthink. Don't do anything hastily, okay? What's this storm warning about? You got the six of cups. Something could have happened in the past, and it could be now coming back up. Someone could be dealing with some um, something resurfacing from the past, a a situation. Yeah, nine of wands. 
something that has you feeling guarded, looking over your shoulder, feeling like you need to protect yourself or protect your assets or something like that. Yeah, the judgment and the world card. A decision is going to be made here. A cycle is going to close out. All right. It may be a difficult decision, but I feel like it is going to be a favorable decision for whoever this is resonating with. This cycle will close out. What is going to be the outcome? For some, everyone's situation is going to be different. But I'm getting second chance here. Four of Pentacles. Some of you will be able to hold on to something that you are um, fearing that you're going to lose. So something could be coming up from the past. This could be old debts or something that happened that's resurfacing. And now there's judgment on this situation. That's about to come to a, 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 an end. A cycle is closing out. For some of you, this is a divorce. Okay. Some of you will be able to hold on to a little bit of what you have. Some of you may be losing money and some legalities. And I feel like um, in the end, you are going to um, yeah, be fine. You're going to be able to hold on to something. This is giving me a mortgage. This is giving me your yeah, higher fan is coming out in reverse. Why a higher fan in reverse? Something may happen in a very untraditional way or unconventional way. Seven of Pentacles. With the Hierophant in reverse, this is someone moving away from a an old mindset or a traditional way of doing something. So this could be a decision being made that normally someone would not do. So someone may receive some type of favor, some unexpected favor favorable outcome that normally someone doesn't um, do. This could be like a judge making a decision to overturn something or to um, allow someone to keep something that normally they would not would not, not grant someone. Y'all, I don't know what's going on. You got the moon card. Whatever it is, it's, it's hidden or someone is very fearful of what's going to take place here. Alright. Well. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. For whoever this is for. Um, don't worry. Okay. Pray. Leave it in the hands of the most high. I know something has happened unexpected. Something has you worrying. You get off to yourself. And just silence your emotions. You silence yourself. Okay. Devil card in reverse with the ace of swords. Truth and justice is going to come out. You're going to be released from whatever bonds, whatever chain that has you bound up um, emotionally at this time. Maybe even physically or financially. All right, guys. So I'm going to close this out. Um, I really hope this message helps someone. Um, I, I don't know what you're facing, what you're dealing with here. But whatever it is, you're not confident in the outcome. I feel like spirit wants you to know that you will be granted a second chance or a fair judgment in a situation. Maybe there's going to be something that happens that, like I said, usually doesn't happen. You don't really see it too often. Let me just go to the moonology. I don't want to leave like that. I feel like this is spe specific. Y'all, excuse me. I, my tongue be twisted um, to someone. You have bring love into a situation. New moon in Aquarius. The energy is gaining momentum with the waxing moon and adjustments are required. So there's something that's being shifted and changed in your favor. Um, someone, someone is being asked to bring love. This is giving me mercy and grace into a situation. If this is a relationship, a marriage of some sort, or it could even be a divorce that ends up working out in the best. Or this could be a connection that just has had so many uh, obstacles is coming together in a favorable, untraditional, unconventional way. A court case that has been has gotten so much um, attention, or there's just this certainty that it's not going to be good. It it actually can work out because someone's going to 
bring love into the situation and it's going to it's going to bring favor for you or for whoever is involved in the situation that is my prayer because this is what i feel here so have faith all right whoever you are have faith on the outcome i will see you guys on the next video have a wonderful and amazing day